Hey Mason, how do you fish a Senko wacky style? Well, so what I usually do is, well first off, let me start by saying this. There's these things that you can buy at Cabela's, Bass Pro, Walmart, anywhere you can, where you can buy fishing material or fishing baits. That all you have to do is stick your Senko right into the little tube and then there's these rubber bands at the very end that you just slide right on and it gets in, it hooks on into the middle. And then all you have to do is stick your hook right through the rubber band and you don't have to worry about if you're if the fish hooks onto your bait you don't have to worry about the uh, hook ripping out if you don't hook the fish so but there's two downfalls of that one if you do use those if the fish still hooks onto the bait and not your uh, and not your hook the rubber band is really tight and up against this worm so it'll so the rubber band will eventually rip through it and two if you're just packing up and you have the rubber band around this Senko and it's just sitting there on your rod and then you go out next time the Senko there the rubber bands already gone probably gone through and ripped the Senko in half because how tight the rubber band is so what I like to do is I like to take my hook and mm, I like to fold my worm in half directly like this, take my hook, not in the middle, but to the left a little bit, you'll see why in just a second, push it all the way through, make it come out, and then it should look lopsided. Now what you want to do, just push it all the way to up against this wall on this side, not up here. But on this side directly across from the hook point and fold it or and take the side that's lopsided and you want to stick it right through there <coughs> and the reason I do that is so it has a lot more tension on uh, so when the bass hooks the worm see it's not going to rip off because it has this holding the bot the bottom right here so it's not going to rip off as easy well not easy at all so and this is and the reason I hooked it on the left to begin with is so it evens it out so it swims like this show them the water so all you have to do is just pop it but you want to let your Senko sink all the way to the bottom or maybe a foot from the bottom and then you just want to pop it and um, the reason I'm using these neon Senko or the neon tip Senko is because the water is really murky and we want the fish to see it because these fish are really hungry and just using a dark green Senko they can't see it so they won't be able to see, uh, see where that bait is and it won't be attracted and in this pond because we're at a farm pond and they don't get really fed because all these trees are pushed away from the pond so there's not that much vegetation falling into it um, these fish are looking for something so once they see that flash like if you use a spinnerbait and that spoon and it's on the spinnerbait that flash from the sunlight will hit that and then it will just send off reflections everywhere and then that fish will be really attracted to it so let's keep on fishing and get back at you with wet line <laughs> 